make sure the desert is not gonna get inside of you. World War II, it's the Egyptian desert. Brits are going the long way around through the desert to get to Cairo, around the Nazis. By the time they get there, they're thirsty. They need a good drink. They've had a long couple of weeks through the desert. They need something to quench their thirst. The suffering bastard is what they got. Gin, bourbon, bitters, lime, and thank God, had some ginger beer. These guys were in the desert for weeks, if not months. They were suffering bastards. So the bartender wanted to give him what he got, and he basically took the whole bar, put it into a glass, and gave it to him. Suffering bastard. Let's check it out. Let's get some ice. You need ice when you're in the desert. Cool. Another thing about this was that they were uh, suffering from terrible hangovers from, I don't know, maybe just drinking gin straight for three hours. So this was supposed to cure the hangover by putting the bourbon and the gin together. Cool. I don't know the truth to that, but we'll see. Two ounces of uh, our favorite bourbon here. One. Two. Two ounces of Gin. I, I, I gotta say, this is the first time I've ever mixed a drink with bourbon and gin together that wasn't like a college 4 a.m. We gotta mix something together for everybody kind of drink in the house. It's already looking like a party. I don't know what. <laughs> a splash of bitters. I'm gonna use some pea shoots jitters here. Pea shoots jitters bitters. And then uh, the juice from an entire lime. Check this out. Check this out. Check, 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 check this out. Check this out. This thing is real. You guys ever go to Sur La Tab? You guys know what? You know I like to keep it. Full lime, that's how I like it. Sorry. Cool. A quick mix first before we introduce any of the uh, the bubbles. Once you add the bubbles, you don't want to mix it because then it gets, you know, you lose the effervescence. Am I right? All right, I'm already suffering. <laughs> Here's to you, desert Nazis. Oh, God. <sighs> this is real? They actually drank this <laughs> Wikipedia. It is so gross. I think it's the worst thing I've ever drank. What? Oh, God. But dear, try it. It's so bad. Yeah, that's really awful. I can, I can taste, I can taste everything in there. I can taste the ginger beer, the lime, even the bitters, the gin, and the bourbon all separately. It's like it's taken my brain <sighs> It's taken my mind and it's separated it. <laughs> it's so fucking nasty, it's gross. I'm just gonna keep drinking it though. So, according to history, according to our research, this is what actually <laughs> these, these poor British soldiers actually had to drink. Okay, we've done that now and it's gross, but I'm gonna do a little variation on it. Basically just take out the bourbon, I'm just gonna make it with gin and see if it tastes any better. My version of this drink is, uh, we'll call it the party and bastard. The party and bastard is a little bit better. I'm just gonna keep out the bourbon. I'm gonna take the gin, I'm gonna take the bitters, I'm gonna take the ginger beer, I'm gonna take the lime, which is already enough ingredients. I'm gonna put it in this, uh, in this mason jar here, mix it up, and see what we get. Get some ice, we're in the desert, we gotta get the ice. Cool. What we're gonna do, now we're just gonna do two ounces, two ounces of gin. Two ounces of gin. Keep the Brits happy. They're the ones killing the fucking Nazis. Keep the Brits happy. They love the gin. Little bit of dash of bitters here. Clash. Okay, so my illustrious uh, bar magnet over here told me the right way of squeezing a lime using one of these lime squeezers. You cut off the underside of the lime as well and then put it this way into your situation and then squeeze. Uncle. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hey. And then, of course, the ginger beer. A little splash of that. A little bit of a light stir. Let's try it. It's 
still tastes like vomit. And then the car's in the pool, and the cop's like, well, how did you do this? I was like, I, I, I don't know, I just kept going. I don't know what's happening. It's good now. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, you know, Szechuan food. It's like eating the Flaming Hot Cheetos. Like, if you don't stop before you hit the bottom of the bag, it never really hits you. <laughs> don't. I mean, you're, you're making the suffering bastard face. Vet. If somebody made me chill, I would probably drink one. I'm liking it more and more as I'm drinking it. <laughs> yeah. Buffy? No, what do you think? underage. <laughs> Can't believe you said that was sharp. <laughs> Yeah, that's good.